up guys we're going to be reviewing the amazing Yamaguchi Marvel's Spider-Man and right now I'm going to be taking it out of the package Alright, so now, um, with this uh, plastic, uh, we can see all of um, his his webs, his his um, eyes, his web lines, and and then his stand. Alright, and then uh, it seems like it includes um, his hands as well in the in the back. And then one more time with the character. And now we're going to be uh, taking them out. Okay. Alright, so, starting off with his accessories, we have his two uh, web lines to swing off. And then, uh, these two accessories is probably to kind of web up the, like, web up other action figures, let's, let's say. And then these accessories is supposed to be his web wing, and it's supposed to be plugging uh, kind of like a back uh, to uh, illustrate that. So I'll show you right now. Three pairs of eyes for Spider Man, and then we have. Spider-Man's hand accessories, which they all vary from like uh, different actions. And then we have um, this little piece to plug out his eyes. And then we have like this magnet piece. And then we have uh, this little. Um, Kind of like speakerphone, it seems. And lastly, we have the stand. And then we can move on to Spider-Man himself. Alright, so now that we have Spider-Man himself, we're going to be checking out his articulation. So checking with his head, he can stretch up uh, into the sky this much. Um, you can also see that the neck also kind of helps extend his um, height as well. And now looking down, he can't really move down that much. So, so the next thing is his um, his ab crunches, and you can see that he can throw, like he can bend his back um, backwards this much, and then he can bend his uh, back forward this much. And now, and now with these chest plates, they help, um, they kind of help move the arms more, um, forward and backwards, kind of like, uh, butterfly joints. And the, the chest plates do cover up the spider logo, but you can move them out of the way as well. Now check it with the arms itself, 
he can um, put his arms this high. He can, let's see, so he can, uh, he, he could do like a, a double jointed pose, but it's, you know, it's more just with one ball. They could accomplish um, this much without just one ball joint. And it does have, uh, you can turn this part. You can also uh, turn his forearm. And now with his legs. Oh yeah, actually wait, let's go with the fists. They can uh, move diagonally or yeah. And then yeah, you can pretty much uh, move the fists like that. And now going down to the legs, you can um, extend them. Let's see. Let's see. I can probably. There we go. Okay. So we can put it this much. We can also uh, put it more outwards like this. And going backwards, it can do this much. And now with bending the knee, it can bend this much. And then I also have, you can move his calf as well a little bit and rotate it. You can uh, move the, the foot along with the toe. You can't move the toe upwards, but you can, you can definitely move it more downwards as you can see. And let's see, last, oh yeah, you can rotate the leg like this. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good representation of the Spider Armor Mark IV by Amazing Yamaguchi. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good representation of the Spider Armor Mark IV by Amazing Yamaguchi. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.